Three old pros made the bucket list, and they did it with style. One of the great comedy drama directors of our time, Rob Reiner, directed this film, starring Hollywood legends Jack Nicholson and Morgan Freeman. All three come together to breathe life into a story that could have sold out a Kleenex factory if it wanted to. Two stars play characters both dying from cancer. Jack playing the Donald Trump-like billionaire, and Freeman the comfortable owner of a mechanic shop. One lives in a lofty high-rise, and the other in the better part of Crenshaw, which is in South Central LA. They've both had good lives, but not great lives, and with less than a year to go, they decide to squeeze the grapes of life for every bit of juice they have. You've seen the commercials with the race cars and the skydiving, and while that's part of it, the major joys are sparked by smaller moments, like looking out at the northern lights from the window of an airplane. Freeman wears his heart on his sleeve, and as is relaxed and warm as cornbread, Jack is still manic energy, and even makes throwing up in chemotherapy a little bit funny. The two characters play very much in type. One the sweet family man, the other a smart-ass playboy with the devil on his shoulder. And the truly amazing thing is how different we are, as viewers, to equally love these men and the completely different things their characters stand for. People in your own life are like that. When they live their lives differently than you see best for them, it makes you uncomfortable. I mean, Morgan Freeman once played a very scary pimp in Street Smart and did an extraordinary job, but it's not a performance I happily go back to seeing. And Jack played a dutiful husband in About Schmidt that was so wrong for him, it made me very sad and depressed. I think in The Shining, Jack showed us he's not really cut out for domestic life. But in this movie, their personalities get to shine as they first spar a little and then become the best kinds of friends. Morgan is so Jeopardy smart as Carter that Jack nicknames him Ray, as in a main man Ray from Rain Man. And Morgan continually marvels at Jack's character's sheer madness. The movie, despite its subject matter, is just pure fun. It makes you realize that you have to live life to its fullest because the year goes, years go by faster than smoke through a keyhole. <laughs> Happy New Year from the Predator.